very good morning uh, in this class uh, we can see the what is in defalsification what are the methods of uh, defalsification so in previous class we can see the falsification so falsification means which is the conversion of uh, crisp quantities to the fuzzy now we can see the defalsification which means we are converting the fuzzy quantities to the crisp quantities so here for the conversion of uh, fuzzy to the crisp quantities we can follow the various methods uh, see the one by one so maximum membership principle centroid method weighted average method mean max membership method center of sums center of largest area first or last of maximum first we can see the maximum membership principle so this method is also known as height method is limited to peaked output functions this method is given by algebraic expression mu c of z star is greater than or equal to mu c of z for all small z is belongs to capital z see the graphical way of representation so here on x axis you may consider as z values on y axis you may consider as membership values so in between 0 to 1 so the membership function which means the fuzzy quantities are the fuzzy quantities so here the fuzzy quantities are represented in a membership function so the membership function values are you may convert it into the crisp quantity now how to identify this z star value so similarly centroid method this method also called center of area or center of gravity method is the most prevalent and physically appealing of all defalsification methods so it is given by algebraic expression z star equal to integral of mu c of z star into z into dz divided by integral of mu c of dz but in the previous we can see the the membership function here which is the maximum value z star is the maximum value but here in centroid method the z star is not a maximum value so which is calculated mu c of z into z dz divided by integral of mu c of z into dz so which is clearly we can explain with an problem so on x axis i am represented as the uh, various numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 on y axis you may represent the membership functions in between 0 to 1 so the membership function which is linearly increases constant and after that which is decreases so here the fuzzy quantities we are converted to the crisp quantities so by using the centroid method so that is z star is equal to integral of mu uh, either c of z or a b of z into z into dz divided by integral of mu b of z into dz so first you can see the from 0 to 1 limits 0 to 1 limits integral 0 to 1 so the membership function is linearly increases so the linear function how we have represented so like that a into t so here the a value equal to 0 0.3 into t value in the sense z 0 0.3 into z into z into dz plus now you may observe from 1 to in between 3 and 4 so which is approximately 3.6 3.6 so magnitude value is a constant 0 0.3 plus from 3.6 to 4 from 3.6 to 4 which is again increases so now how to calculate so by using the general mathematical notation y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 for identification of the variation or slope value. so that is z minus 3 divided by 2 into z into dz now again from 4 to 5 the magnitude is constant so what is the value 0 0.5 into z into dz plus and after that we can see from 5.526 the magnitude is again increases from 6 to 7 it is constant though that value 1 
into z similarly from 7 to 8 from 7 to 8 the membership function is decreases so apply the limits and by using the integration we are calculating this z star so we are z star for, for this membership function 4.9 so which is the fuzzy and which is the crisp now we can see the weighted average so this method is uh, valid only for uh, symmetrical output membership functions it is given by the algebraic expression uh, z star equal to sigma mu c of z into z divided by sigma mu c of z where sigma denotes an algebraic sum so see the two membership functions represented here and uh, this weighted average method is formed by weighing each membership function in the output by its respective maximum membership value. So see an example, uh, in this example I am consider uh, three membership functions. Let us consider A, B, C. And here how to calculate the Z star value which means conversion of fuzzy to the crisp value. So Z star is equal to how to represent the formula mu c of z which means membership function into z bar so that is equal to 0 0.3 into 2.5 and second one 0 0.5 into 5 plus 1 into 6.5 divided by 0 0.3 0 0.5 and 1 because here denominator term mu c of z only membership function so z star for this membership function value 5.41 so see the other one mean max membership method this method also called as middle of maxima is closely related to the mean max membership principle the difference is that here the location of maximum membership can be non unit so here we can see z uh, star calculated for this membership function equal to a plus b by 2 so a value is equal to first of maximum b is equal to last of maximum so see an example here mean max for this membership function is equal to a value equal to 6 b value is equal to 7 so z star is equal to a plus b by 2 6 plus 7 by 2 that equal to 6.5 meters and the center of sums this method is faster than the most of the defalsification methods this process involves the algebraic sum of individual sets say c1 and c2 instead of their union so one drawback of this method is that the intersecting areas are added twice the defalsified value z star is given by so z star is equal to integral z z sigma k is equal to 1 to n mu c q of z into dz divided by integral z sigma k is equal to 1 to n mu c k of z into dz so this method is similar to the weighted average method except in their center of uh, sums method the weights are areas of the respective membership functions whereas in the weighted average method the weights are individual membership values so the center of sums uh, this method is uh, observe with these waveforms uh, center of membership functions so first membership function uh, represented with a maximum value 0 0.5 and the second membership function represented with a maximum value 1 so these two are combined you may get it as z star defalsified value so the center of largest area under another in a defalsification so if the output fuzzy set has at least two convex subregions then the center of gravity of the convex fuzzy subregion which is the largest area is used to obtain the defalsified value so observe this membership value so here here two uh, membership functions are represented two areas uh, but we may consider only the largest area for the determination of the z star value so z star is equal to integral of mu c m of z into z dz divided by integral mu cm of z into dz where cm is the convex region that has the largest area making up ck so this condition applies in the case when the overall output ck is non-convex 
and in the case when ck is convex z star is same as the determined by the centroid method or the center of largest area method okay. uh, see the other method first or last of maxima this method uses the overall output or union of all individual output fuzzy sets to determine the smallest value of the domain with maximized membership degree in ck to determine z star the following steps have to be followed so the first one no, largest height in the union largest height in the union denoted by height of ck is determined using the this expression and similarly the first of maxima is found using this expression second one and the last of maxima if needed can be found using these expressions okay so see the way of representation or different types of uh, values calculated for the membership functions so which is the smallest of maxima and uh, here mean of maxima bisector of area centroid area and which is the largest of maxima so for a single membership function we are determined or different values so see uh, membership function so membership functions were first introduced in the year of 1965 uh, by lafayette zohe in his first research paper fuzzy sets so membership functions characterize the fuzziness that is all the information in the fuzzy sets whether the elements in fuzzy sets are a discrete manner or a continuous manner so these membership functions are defined as a technique to solve the practical problems by experience rather than knowledge membership functions are represented by a graphical forms membership functions are used to express the fuzziness in the data so the membership function values are in between the 0 to 1 so if the membership function value is 0 you may call it as zero membership function if the membership function value equal to one you may call it as complete membership function if in case between zero to one you may call it as a partial membership so the most popular choices for shapes of membership functions are triangular trapezoidal bell shaped so why you are choosing these membership functions only because of the following reasons so easy of description as function minimum uses of memory for storage and manipulation of efficiency is the high see the triangular membership functions so these are the triangular shapes of membership functions so mainly these are reduced for uh, to reduce the oscillations in the systems and a trapezoidal shape these are the trapezoidal shape membership functions these membership functions are better than the triangular functions Oscillations are encountered or reduced due to the use of triangular functions can be overcome by use of trapezoidal functions. This is due to the flat top in this function. Observe the flat top, so which is the flat top. Okay, so the flat top actually stabilizes the decision over a range, and therefore there is not great change in the decision as would happen in a triangular membership function. So now you can see the bell shaped functions. So these are the bell shaped functions. The use of bell shaped function greatly reduces the oscillations and the rise time is also greatly reduced. In fact, the value of oscillations is the least by the use of membership functions. Okay. So characteristics of the membership functions. So an x-axis you may consider as uh, some limits on the values or the sets. On y-axis, you may consider as mu of x membership function. So if the core, the membership function, uh, completely analyzes with the help of core, support, and boundaries. So the core is the region of universe that is characterized by complete and full membership. That is mu of x equal to 1. Support is that region of universe that is characterized by a non-zero membership. That is mu of x greater than 0. Boundary is that region of universe characterized by non-zero membership, but not complete membership. So which means in between 0 to 1. Complete in the sense mu v of x equal to 1. Uh, non-zero membership means mu v of x equal to 0. Partial means in between 0 to 1. 
so see some more points uh, relevant to the membership function a normal fuzzy set is one whose membership function has at least one element x in the universe whose membership value is unity a convex fuzzy set is one whose membership values are strictly monotonically increasing or decreasing or first increasing then decreasing with increasing values for elements in the universe <coughs> the height of a fuzzy set is the maximum value of the membership function similarly a cross point between two adjacent fuzzy sets is defined as that point where the two fuzzy sets have equal membership value that is the meeting point of two adjacent fuzzy sets is the cross point thank you